Dark Void had and still does have a lot of potential. Let's start with the good. At the very center of Dark Void is a solid new vertigo inducing vertical cover system that is highly enjoyable. Transitioning between ground combat, hover combat, and dogfighting is well executed. It takes a while to get skilled at the flight controls, but the challenge makes it fun and it is worth getting good at. Is he okay? Uh, not really. Actor Nolan North of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves fame gives an amusing performance amongst some otherwise cheesy lines. Dark Void also benefits from an exceptional score from Bear McCreary, who is also the same composer on Battlestar Galactica. And now, the bad. The character designs and the setting are highly imaginative, but the graphics don't support the weight of these ideas. The art direction of this time and place could have been exploited a lot more. Despite being very unique, the plot and the writing did not suck me into the game, and again, I felt like there was a lot more to be explored here, given the setting. Make sure you retrieve the sonar box. The missions are pretty typical, from tracking down items to an exceptionally long escort mission. The device back there, it generates electricity. The most offensive part of the game is the occasional audio glitch, both in the form of bad lip syncing and audio distortion. All in all, it isn't that Dark Void is a bad game, but it isn't the game it could have been either. The vertical cover system and the combat are an accomplishment by themselves, but not so much as to lift up the rest of the game. I'd very much like to see a Dark Void 2, but with a lot more polish and stronger writing. Well, you play the card you're dealt. I give Dark Void 6 rocket packs out of 10. For MSNBC.com, I'm Todd Kidd.